one of the most notable theologians in church history was a man named Augustine. Uh, you may have heard him called St. Augustine, Augustine the Great. Uh, when you look at the great theologians in church history, you, of course, you've got biblically Paul, uh, understanding the nature of Jesus. You've, uh, you've got Aquinas really uh, presenting the scholastic form of Christianity and, and really legitimizing the Christian faith in the 12th century. You've got uh, uh, Luther and Calvin, some of the great reformers. Um, so, I mean, and then it, right in the midst of those, the, the, the part and parcel with those names is Augustine the Great. Uh, Augustine lived in a time when people were fighting events. What was the nature of Jesus? Was he fully God? Was he fully man? Trying to work this all out. And, and yeah, Augustine had, maybe he had some issues with, with uh, we would agree with everything, just like we wouldn't agree with everything with Calvin and Luther, or everything with, um, uh, with Aquinas maybe. But, but Augustine had some fascinating insight into the nature of Jesus. And it seems to really be the, the, the maturing of the things that were taught about in uh, earlier church uh, with Arrhenius and, and other people that we've referenced before. Um, and Augustine, one of the things he was wrestling through is, uh, especially the argument against the divinity of Christ, was that if Jesus was fully divine, how could the Bible say that he had received something? It, received, uh, it says he received the spirit, of course, of baptism. It says he received the oil of gladness beyond that of his companions. Like, How could it say that he received something if... He was fully God. He wouldn't ever need to have received it. And, and so that was one of the arguments against whether or not that was Jesus fully God, was he not? And so Augustine, as he works this out, he looks through all these different scripture references and he anchors the understanding in Philippians 2 that uh, it says that Jesus emptied himself and took on the form of a servant. So he said, well, it, there's certain references in scripture that refer to Jesus emptying himself. And so we've got to understand that, that Jesus' time, those 30 years as a, as a servant as in the form of man, that there's verses that talk specifically about his ministry in that regard. And, and so uh, Augustine, Augustine was working that out. And one of the things that Augustine said uh, was that the reason he received anything, whether it's the oil of gladness, the name above all names, the kingdom to, to give the kingdom of the Father, the spirit at baptism, the reason he received anything was so that by faith he received it on behalf of humanity, that by faith in him, humankind would receive it, that, that we'd receive a new name. And then Revelation, of course, talks about that God has given a new name to us, that we'd receive the oil of gladness, and, and part of the fruit of the Spirit is joy. So all of these outworkings that Jesus received was that humankind, and, and the idea behind it was wrapped up uh, in 2 Peter 1.4, that we have become partakers of the divine nature, that in Jesus, everything he received that was of the divine nature, he received as a human so that humankind could receive it, so that we could be like him, so that we could look like him, so that when people saw us, they'd see him. So everything he received, he received on behalf of humanity so that humanity would receive it, to redeem humanity, uh, to, to one of the early church theological terms was um, to make humanity divine. Uh, divinization was the, t uh, the technical term that he, his goal was to make humanity divine, that humanity would look like God, to redeem humanity, humanity back from its fallen state, post-fall, back to the to pre-fall, when man walked and talked and communed uh, with, with God, Adam and Eve in the garden, that we would be back in that place. We'd receive all the things that had been lost at the fall. He received on behalf of on behalf of humanity, that humanity by faith in him would receive. And how do we receive? Of course, we die to self. We have faith in him. The cross, baptism, redemption, regeneration, all these things we receive because he received. That was the natural outworking of some of these early, where God became man so that man would become like God. The natural outworking was he received as a man so that mankind could receive it. And Augustine anchored that. His Trinitarian theology was anchored in that. Uh, and the, the outworkings of it, of course, are that when people see us, they would see the Father. And that's the beauty of the Christian life, is that we can look like the Father.